Good afternoon and welcome to the healing service for Thursdays during Lent 2021. I'm the Reverend Michael John Siracusa and I'm joined with the staff here at St. Stephen's, Eleanor Machia, Dawn Salvatera, and Father Peter Counts. And we are also joined always by our sister parish, St. Gabriel's in the Alany Feltonville section of Philadelphia. So let us begin. Blessed be the one holy and living God. Glory to God forever and ever. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, we commend to your loving care all who suffer, especially those who come here seeking your healing grace for themselves or others. Give them patience and hope in their distress. Strengthen and uphold them in mind and body and grant by your intervention that all of your people may be made whole according to your desire through Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now let us listen to our readings. Our first reading is a reading from the book of Ezekiel. A new heart I will give you, a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinance. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for today is a portion of Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. second reading today is from the book of Luke. And he said to them, suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, let me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, do not bother me, the door has already been locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything, because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will open for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now our litany of healing. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick or injured, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. 
Bless physicians, nurses, healthcare workers, and all others who minister to those suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying a peace and holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. Please do so either aloud where you are or in the silence of your heart. Please keep in your prayers both communities of St. Stephen's and St. Gabriel's. And also, please pray for Meryl and her partner. Also, send prayers to Crystal and Raina. We would also like to send special prayers of healing for all the healers out there. Let us pray. Open to us your healing power, O God. We entrust ourselves to your care, knowing that you are doing for us and for all the world far better things than we can ask or imagine. With you as our companion and guide, strengthen us to hope for all that is good and to fear no evil. For your love is stronger than death and your faithfulness reaches to the heavens. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and in the ages of ages. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O Lord, Holy Father, giver of health and salvation, send your Holy Spirit to sanctify this oil, that as your holy apostles anointed many who were sick and healed them, so may those who in faith and repentance receive this holy unction be made whole through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. At this time, if we were in person, I would invite you to come forward and I would anoint your head with oil and ask you if there is an intention or person that you would like to pray for. In this format, I just ask you to bow your head and I will extend my arms to you, my hands to you, and, and lay them upon you virtually and I will say this prayer as you in your mind or aloud say the intention that you would like to pray for. I lay my hands upon you and anoint you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, praying that you will be strengthened and filled with God's grace that you may know the healing power of the Spirit. Amen.
And may the blessing, peace, exquisite care, and healing grace of God be with you this day and all the days going forward. Amen. May the God who goes before you through desert places by night and by day be your companion and guide. May your journey be with the saints, and may the Holy Spirit be your strength and Christ your clothing of light, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray boldly together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray this prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the body and blood, come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Christ, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you, and you in me, in this life, and in the life to come. Amen. May God, the Father, bless you. God, the Son, heal you. And God, the Holy Spirit, give you strength. May God, the Holy and Undivided Trinity, guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And now with healing, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining us for this Healing Thursday service. We ask you uh, to pray for us as we pray for you. Uh, to join us whenever you can throughout Lent and uh, to go on this journey of reflection, of studying the scriptures, of uh, reminding ourselves constant, constantly of the things that we uh, can do with God's help. And above all, that we stay together as a community in this time of isolation so that we can uplift uh, those in our community who need our help. I hope you have a great day today and peace to you wherever you are. Bye-bye.